So in this section, I will just briefly go through the nucleotide databases. So there are three major nucleotide databases, GeneBank, NBL, DDBA. And they are actually part of the International Nucleotide Sequence Database Collaboration. So all data that enters one of these databases are automatically synced to other databases. So it's not it's sufficient to submit your data to one point and end up in all three databases. But they are not identical. They contain different accessor numbers and cells as well. So they are not containing exactly the same information, but in general, everything should be in all three databases. So let's look at the entry. That is the gene bank. Mag version, so this is how the entry looks like. So you see here that there's a lot of letters, ATGC, so that's the sequence for the gene. It has also some information in the top that tells you something about what gene it is. So if you look at in that some more detail, we see that in this case, this was a human protein, so Homo sapiens, it's a limb domain protein, it's the mRNA sequence. It contains 7,235 base pairs. It's linear, it's not circular. It has a locus, it has an accession number. The uh, version number, so this is version 4, so there'll be three other versions, maybe there was something wrong earlier or something, and then it's updated. It contains uh, a gene that starts from, that contains the whole sequence in this case. Uh, it has uh, so synonyms, so names for the same gene, FPX20, FPXO20, etc. It has an ID for the gene, and so the references to other databases, so there's an XREF. And well, the coding region is from 1261 to 531, and the gene is called LM07. So that's the gene, it's not the same, that's the gene bank entry. However, nowadays, most people actually do not often look at this one single gene in the gene bank, and we've used this background, so one doesn't look at whole genomes. So there are at least a couple of good browsers that you can look at whole genomes or partial genomes. And they, European version, particularly focused on the eukaryote, the human genome, is Ensemble. So Ensemble contains many animal genomes mainly, or and uh, have a lot of information about it on different species, spice forms, different genes, whatever. So, so, so. Mm. The American version is, well, it's not really exactly the same, but it's also a good genome browser, it's UCSC, it's University of California, Santa Cruz, that have a genome browser that you can sort of go through things. So in, in, in the ensemble version, you see you have a lot of genomes, a lot of, of animals. Anything from the human down to the stickleback or squirrels, etc. And there are links for between all these. So a, a genome does not only contain information about the sequence of the genome, but also what parts of the genes, what, what genes exist there, what expression data have it, what are the disease relations, etc., etc. So in the lab later today or tomorrow, you will go through this and have a look and learn more about it.